These are the differences between the Garmin uh, 920 XT on the right and on the left the Polar V800. Uh, I want to make this quick uh, comparison uh, for the English speaking guests because uh, I got a lot of questions to do my reviews in English so uh, <laughs> here is it. Sorry for the terrible English. Um, I liked the Polar a lot more because it uh, looks uh, much nicer I think. Both are multi-sport watches, so uh, they are uh, suitable for running, cycling, skiing, uh, etc. And uh, swimming, of course. Um, the Garmin is my all-time favorite because uh, yeah, I used uh, the 310 and the 305 before that and the 910 uh, till uh, last month. And now I'll be using the 920 XT. But I will be also using the uh, V800. Um, for the comparison and uh, so there will be next uh, uh, new updates about the the positives and the negatives but I wanted to show you the both watches in the design in this video so I think uh, the V800 is more nice it has beautiful uh, buttons like you can see here uh, the 920 has more beautiful uh, ops, uh, buttons than the 910 XT, but uh, yeah, the Polar is, uh, I think, uh, ahead of uh, Garmin on that front. Um, the band, uh, it's kind of the same uh, in uh, white, in the on your wrist, but uh, yeah, the colors is, uh, I think, a little more. Uh, suitable for everyday wearing on the V800. So I put them next to each other. The buttons on the Polar are three on the right and two on the left. And the Garmin has two on the right, two on the left and also two on the front. So these are perfect when you are training, when you are running because you can uh, touch them on your wrist and uh, on this you have to push against uh, the watch that's uh, I think a little bit harder when you are in a full sprint or if you run a marathon uh, these are better I think so these are the differences in the looks I'll make a video of both of them uh, about all the functions in the watches